So for now, we will be uh, translating a given business rule to ERD. And then from ERD, we will perform some needed operation. No? And then after that, we will do the relation. And then pag na-create natin relation, we will be translating it to the SQL. Na. So from business rule to logical design, which is the ERD, to relational design, which is the relation. And then going to physical design, which is the SQL. So yun yung gagawin natin now. So first is, of course, you need to read the business rule. So here we have a uh, school setup. No? So students can enroll one or many courses. And then courses may be enrolled by one or many uh, students. Yeah. And then after the term, students receive a grade for the course. And so first, you need to determine what are the possible entities. So here we can see that uh, the possible entities are students. Again, uh, your entities, those are usually nouns or events that need to be recorded in your database. So we need to have a student record and they also perform the enroll courses. So courses would be possible entity also. Then courses may be enrolled by one or more student. And since enrolled was mentioned both, so this might be an event that we need to model also. Then after term, students receive a grade for that course. So a grade can be a attribute to the course no? once a uh, student finished already taking the course. So with that observation, uh, write down muna natin yung mga possible. So, sulat muna natin siya. And TP or ayan, student. Ilagay ko na student na. Or small letter muna na. Student, course, and all. Saka yung grade. Then, uh, first, from your analyzation, kunyari, uh, this, we think student is an entity. And then, course is also an entity. Then enroll is an event. Now we can consider it as an ET. Natin. Then grade, obviously, attribute. Siya. Then next, uh, the translate na rin to ERD. Okay. So let's create our ERD. So we have box here and student. Then we also have another entity for courses. Yeah. So once you already uh, determined the entity, yan, uh, we need to model yung relationship na. So according to nag enroll sila. So yung enroll for now uh, is a relationship between the two entities. So students enroll courses and courses are enrolled by students. Yeah. So ano mo na natin siya? Gawin ko na relationship ng dalawa. Ayan. At ganyan lang dito na enroll. And after determining the relationship, uh, let's proceed to cardinality. Yung many ba or single lang or one lang. No? One to many, etc. Et so first is check natin. So student so enroll many courses sabi. So meaning many dito. Sa part na to. So papuntang ganon student enroll or may enroll one or many courses. Then, pabalik, bawin ba? So, courses may be enrolled by one or many students. So, meaning, pwede rin siya ma-enroll ng maraming student. And, if you check naman sa structure ng mga schools, no? Mga student can enroll, may enroll no? one or many subject. So, yung courses, for example, offer lahat. So, pwede nga i-take lahat. So, marami siyang enroll. Then each course, yes, pwede siyang i-enroll ng iba't ibang student. So marami din nag-enroll sa kanya. And with that, magkakaroon tayo ng many-to-many -many relationship. Since they can enroll many courses and then courses can be enrolled by many students. Ayan. So next is yung mandatory at optional. So student 
can enroll or may enroll one or many courses. So, based usually sa mga business rule naman, yun na student, may choice naman siyang hindi mag-enroll ng isang course. So, hindi required na lahat ng student i-take yung same course. So, pag first year ka, siyempre first year lang pwede mo kunin na course. Pag second year ka, second year lang. No? Yan. Or pag may prerequisite siya, hindi mo siya matatake pag hindi mo pa natake yung previous one. So, this will be optional lang. Yan. Yung below. And then, no courses ba? Pabalik, no? Is mandatory or optional lang to take nas then. So, if you check the courses, no? Usually, hindi naman lahat ng courses and required it take ng student. So, may mga courses na for engineering lang. May courses na for computer science lang, for IT, etc. So, hindi yun siya pwede matake. And then, with that uh, situation, may optional din yung courses. And after enrollment, pag natapos yung, ano natin, cor- yung term, for example, you receive a grade, no? So, yung enroll na relationship, meron siyang attribute na grade dito. Ayan. So, may grade siya na pwede ma-receive after. Ayan. And then, copy na tayo dito. Next step is to uh, perform enhancement dun sa ating ERD. 